now we will move further so below this curly braces we will say else curly braces tag this down and here we will say return that in the center child we will show text widget in which we will say there is no tasks or jobs since it's a job screen so we will say jobs and add the cost modifier only if there will be no job it will run this else okay or otherwise it will run that as you guys can see right in here okay now right after in here semicolon in here we will return center widget take this down child text widget and right in there we will say something went wrong if there will be any kind of error we do some style for that we will say text style There we go. So text style as usual and right in there font weight font weight gonna be dot bold and also you will set the font size to 30 or fine. Add the const modifier to that. So we are done with the query okay and i hope you can get the idea i have already explained this in detail okay so now we will just test the app so come right here and click on this run mando dot just hot reload the app because we made a major change there we go for now there is no job it didn't show the job that we just uploaded before right in here let me just check the run right in here what is the problem so they say the query requires an index you can create it right in here so simply what we will do we will copy that URL from here copy it okay just make sure you guys copy it. right copy it and open your browser right in here as you guys can see there is the firebase that I open with this open the new tab it must be like that okay in here past it and just press the enter and it will create an index for us as you guys can see right in here it's working on that index create an index and as you guys can see the status it's building so wait for a while it's gonna implement that As you guys can see the status is now enabled so the index has been created let's go back to the android studio let me take this down now just hold to load the app again and also we are getting that error let me just check that first so they say in here type bool is not a subtype of a type string i think we made a mistake right in the job widget i think in the design because this requirement will be equal to false or true so that's not going to be the string then it's going to be the bool okay so remove the string and write bool in here 
that's fine we are back in here now simply hold to load the app on the start and the error will be gone and it will work just fine there we go with the job and you can see the design right in here we code id business manager needed a manager for the id business but right in here it doesn't show the name and the profile picture user image and if you go back to the job widget dot done the design right in here it simply show us just a description and also just the title there we go okay title and description and right in here if you guys notice it didn't show the user image right in here and also the name so the reason for that if we go to the services folder open that right in here open that global variables dot dot in here as you guys can see the name user image and the location also is totally empty okay and if you press the control and left click on the mouse it will take you right to the upload job dot dot as you guys can see right in here so we upload that data right to the firebase and in here as you guys know already that name it is totally empty as I show you before and also the user image and the location so that's why the name and the user image right in here it didn't show us because it's totally empty first now let me close that and I will also show that right in the firebase so open the browser so here we are right in the firebase and I am right in the database firestore as you guys can see so right in the collection of jobs we have already uploaded that one job right in here as you guys can see all the fields right in here and if you guys notice the name in here the user image and also the location it's totally empty and that's the reason that's why it didn't show the name and also the user image right on the job screen let's go back to the Android studio and right in here as you guys can see there is no user image and also the name for that current user who is online so first we will close that and we will create a method in which we will simply get the username the user image and also the location also let me show you that right in the firebase so simply right in here right in the collection of user there we go first there are three kind of user that I register okay so in here we will get the name and also the user image and also we will get the location and it's gonna get all of the name user image location for the different kind of user automatically okay and as I told you already for that purpose we will create a method in which we will implement the code for that so let's go back to the Android studio and work on that here we are we will go now towards the upload job dot dot and we will go right at top above the widget build there we go with the widget build and right in here let's create that method so we will say void and I'm gonna name this as a get my data this will be asynchronous so in here async call the braces take this down and in here we will say final first we will create a document snapshot so in here document snapshot and we're gonna name this as a user doc type now simply right in this user doc we will assign first let me just write that code and you guys will get the idea and I will also explain it so in here first we will say have it since it's uh, asynchronous so in here we will say firebase firestore 
that we got the suggestion dot instance we are making that instance just to get the data right to the collection of users let me show you that one more time so in here we are creating that instance right to the collection of user okay let's go back to the android studio and right after we will say dot doc in which we will simply get the name user image and the location for the current user who will be online okay I hope you can get the idea now in here we will say firebase auth dot instance we are creating that instance for that current user who will be online with their specific UID we're gonna get the user image name and also the location for that user so let me take this down in here now we will say dot get we're gonna simply now get that now it's a start for widget first let me just see so yep so we have to in here right sit straight and we're gonna get that right inside that it's gonna change it dynamically and in here semicolon now take this down and in here first we're gonna get the name so in here we will say user dog as we created before that one okay as you guys can see the suggestion also then we will say dot get first we will get the name right in here okay and now we will assign that name right to the string variable name so it's going to be right inside that string variable and right after also we will get the user image so in here we will say user dog dot get and then right in there we will say user image and guys the name must be same okay right in here and also in the file base otherwise it will not work it will not get the data so make sure to make it in a proper manner so in here semicolon and now we're gonna assign that user image right to the variable string type in here that's fine and right at end let's also get the location so user dog dot get and in there we will say the location right at end semicolon now we will assign that location right to the string type variable location okay that's fine now let's move further down in here we will say in its state right in there we will call upon the method get my data right in there all fine as you created right in here 